Now, Frank, I may be wrong on my time period, but uh, girls' sports, did they not come in during your time as AD? You, you know, uh, when, when I come to Claremore, the only thing we had for girls was cheerleading. Uh, my daughter, she threw the office fit when we moved here, you ever seen. She played just like a boy in, in the ninth grade. Uh, they had a goal in our backyard and they'd play until 11 o'clock at night. With the, she'd play with the boys and just knock and bang and so forth. And that's the way she played. And then we come to Claremore and she didn't, we didn't have anything. And, and uh, oh, what's the name? It went to uh, Gail Welch. Okay. You know, he, he, he moved his girls up to Uluga because we didn't have a program. And, uh, and we started a program. Walter Sherry Waymar. Walter Lieber tried to tell him, said, we're going to start a program as soon as we can make arrangements. But he was impatient and then he moved him up there. Jerry Waylar started basketball. Yeah. I can tell you a story about girls basketball. Way back, people don't know this. But way back there, Claremore had girls basketball. And they played in the old dungeon, the gym that they're tearing down. They're tearing down the Claremore, the Claremore High School that was built in 1920. And people need to go by there and look at that thing. That's, that thing was built unbelievable. And I think a week from the day, they're going to start knocking it in and put it in that, down in where that gym was. Well, when I was about in the first grade, they took us over to watch a ball game. And uh, uh, they was playing girls basketball down there. It was a county tournament, I believe. And I was in the first grade, and they, they, had, a, they had a stand. Uh, I mean, a, a, a bleachers up there. Above that thing, you could look in there. When I taught there, we used that for a storm cellar. And and if it had a tornado warning, we'd put all the kids down there. Well, you can go by there today and look at that thing, and you see that had been the best storm cellar in the world. But anyway, they were playing girls basketball. Back then, you took one dribble. You could run as far as that one dribble would carry, and you just had to stop and pass the ball. I was walking at the rec center. And these three elderly women, the Robertson girls, were out there walking. And I stopped and I, I, I said, ladies, I want to ask you a question. Did Claremore have girls basketball? Boy, they lit, they lit up and smiled and said, yeah, we all three played girls basketball. And I said, well, what happened about this? They said, we had a, they, they told this story, they said had a superintendent named Homer Hurd and said, Mr. Hurd took all the money and gave it to the boys. Said they, did, they stopped it because they, they, they took, wanted to give the boys all the money. And I kind of said, I said, well, I said, lady, that's for my time. I said, but I heard that you all got, and the reason they stopped girls basketball back there years ago is because you all got in a gang fight off somewhere, started to fight. And they kind of giggled and said, well, there might be something to that, too, and I laughed about it. But those ladies, uh, uh, I maybe one or two of them alive, but they played way back there years ago. But uh, Homer Hurd was serving in schools, and that was for my time. But I, uh, that story might be uh, pretty close to right. Well, Frank, you said they started girls basketball. Well, we have, I don't know, six or seven more sports today for girls. Uh, what came right after basketball? If, or did it take several years for they run tennis track. and golf and so forth? Jim Keith was a strong advocate of six on six. And he argued with me. He said, they'll never be able to run the floor. I said, Jim, I'll tell you something. The black girls will be able to run the floor. And boy, you look at them now. They're just as much fun to watch as the boys are. Uh, it, it has come. Uh, girls' athletes, athletics has just absolutely blossomed in the past 20 years. It's 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 phenomenal what those girls can do. You know, I tell uh, softball. Yeah. I I cannot believe they can feel like they can feel. 
it's, it's amazing to me. Well, yeah. Those guys that were yeah. six on six advocates, they said no one will come to watch them. Yeah. And I'd tell when I I tell Jim Keith when you see a big crowd or see OU and OSU playing have ten thousand people there, I say, Coach, they won't show up. No one's there. I just like to like to yeah. kid him about that, but uh, they'll come to see a winner. Yeah. That's my theory. Well, we, we've had state champions, girls, yeah. uh, right. basketball, and uh, softball. Right. Uh, we had a state champion in wrestling. That's something we never right. track and hear of. Man, I'll tell you what. I just love to watch them. Oh, they, I, I can't believe how muscular uh, those girls are. Yeah. Pole vaulting. My goodness alive. They, they can do it all.